I began by saying Ninaanza kwa kusema that the church is on the last revival. Kanisa liko kwenye kipindi cha uamsho wa nyakati za mwisho. And the church is you. Na kanisa ni wewe. It's not this magnificent building we are building. Sio haya majengo tunayoyajenga ya thamani mazuri. The church is you. Kanisa ni wewe. And God is calling you out. Na Mungu amekuita wewe. He wants you to have the revival that is going to climax the the end time. Anataka wewe upokee uamsho ambao utapeleka kilele cha mavuno ya nyakati za mwisho. God must really raise the church to do the work of the coming of Jesus. Ni dhamira ya Mungu kuliinua kanisa kwa ajili ya uamsho kwa mavuno kwa Yesu Kristo. It is us who are going to be raised and set up in our hearts to raise the revival. Ni sisi ambao mioyo yetu Mungu ataiamsha ili kubeba huo uamsho. The Bible says. Biblia inasema Jesus will not come Yesu hata kuja until everybody has heard the gospel. Mpaka kila mmoja ameisikia injili. It is not everybody giving their life to Jesus. Ni mpaka kila mmoja uh, sio kwamba kila mmoja mpaka ampe Yesu maisha yake. But until everybody has heard the gospel. Lakini ni mpaka pale kila mmoja atakuwa ameisikia injili. Jesus will not come back to preach the gospel. Yesu hata rudi kuhubiri injili. Angels are not going to come back to preach the gospel. Malaika hawatakuja kuhubiri injili. God has given us the ability to preach the gospel Mungu ametupa sisi uwezo wa kuhubiri injili And the mandate of the church Na kazi ya kanisa It is to preach the gospel Ni kuhubiri injili It's not to raise the building Sio tu kujenga majengo It's not only to build the schools Sio tu kujenga shule The first mandate of the church Kazi ya kwanza ya kanisa It is to make Jesus known to unknown people Ni kumfanya Yesu ajulikane kwa watu wasiomjue yeye Every community to know Jesus Kila jamii ya watu imjue Yesu Every individual to hear about Jesus Kila mtu asikie kuhusu Yesu So the revival that is coming Kwa hiyo uamsho na Kuja. It is to make everybody becoming a preacher. Ni kumfanya kila mmoja ndani ya kanisa awe muhubiri. To become the preacher of the word of God. Kumfanya kuwa muhubiri wa injili ya, ya Mungu. This is the revival that is coming. Huu ndio uamsho unaokuja. It is to give you the boldness and courage. Ni kukupa wewe ujasiri na moyo. To give you the courage to share the gospel. Kukupa wewe moyo wa kuhubiri injili. To give you the courage to share the testimony. Kukupa wewe ujasiri wa kutoa shuhuda. To take Jesus into the homes of people. Kumpeleka Yesu kwenye makazi na nyumba za watu. This is why we have left our homes. Na ndio maana tumeacha nyumba zetu huko. This is why we have left our countries. Ndio maana tumeacha nchi zetu. This is why we have left our churches. Ndio maana tumeacha makanisa yetu. Because there is a mandate. Kwa sababu liko jukumu. To every believer. Kwa kila mshirika. To every believer of Jesus. Kwa kila mshirika wa Yesu. To every follower of Jesus. Kwa kila mfuasi wa Yesu. We must share Say the gospel. Lazima yubiri injili ya Yesu Kristo. Bring the banner of salvation in our cities. Na kusababisha wokovu kwenye michi yetu. The banner of salvation to raise in our cities. Na kusababisha wokovu uinuke katika michi yetu. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu Kristo. Do you want revival? Jamani mnataka uamsho? Do you want revival? Mnataka uamsho? This is the beginning of revival. Huu ni mwanzo wa uamsho. The, the Bible talks about the last days. Biblia inazungumza kwa habari ya siku za nyakati za mwisho. It is the days of calamity. Ni siku za majanga. But it's the days of revival. Lakini pia ni siku za uamsho. It's the days of being serious with the Lord. Ni siku za kuwa makini na kumaanisha katika Mungu. And the days of being so serious and committed to serve the Lord. Ni wakati wa kumaanisha sana na kujitoa kumtumikia Mungu. Let me tell you the heaven that we are going to. Ngoja niwaambie ile mbingu ambayo tunaelekea. Is not the heaven of schools. Sio mbingu ya shule. Is not the heaven of driving Mercedes Benz. Sio sio mbingu ya kuendesha Mercedes Benz. Is not the heaven of building buildings. Sio mbingu ya kujenga majengo. Jesus is already building our building. Yesu ameshatujengea majengo huko mbinguni. And he has left us with the work of building the souls and the hearts of people. Ye yeah, ametujengea majengo mbinguni sisi ametuachia jukumu la kujenga nafsi na mioyo ya watu. He has given you a ministry. Mungu amekupa 
Tuma. He has given you a gift. Mungu He has given you wisdom. Mungu He has given you time. Mungu He has given you a church. Mungu He wants you to become an ambassador. Anataka of wewe uwe wake. There is a hand of God upon your life. Kono bwana utaka juu yako kwa There is a gift of God upon your life. Kutakuwa na karama ya bwana juu yako. God is calling you. Mungu anakuita. Out of the things. Utoke katika vitu vingine. And become his ambassador. Na uwe balosi wake. Wow. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. God does not look at your background. Mungu angalii historia yako ya nyuma. He does not need your education to use you. Wala ataki uwe na elimu au elimu yako ili akutumie. He does not need you to be a man or a woman to use you. Wala angalii kama ni wa kike au wa kiume. God is calling you. Mungu anakuita jinsi ulivyo. He wants you to be part of what he's doing. Anataka we uwe sehemu ya mpango wake anaofanya. Jesus left his key. Mungu aliacha uf- Yesu aliacha ufalme wake. And that key he wants to put it in your hand. Alituachia uf- aliacha ufungua anataka uweke kwenye mikono yetu. To speak to situation and uh, uh, circumstance will shift. Kutamkia mazingira na mambo na vibadilike. To make people holy by your prayer and by the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. Kuwafanya watu kuwa watakatifu kwa maombi yako na utakaso wa damu ya Yesu. He wants you to rescue people out of darkness. Anataka uwanyakue watu na kuwa Komboa kutoka mateka ya giza. This is your work. Hii ni kazi yako. It's not the work of angels. Sio kazi ya malaika. It's not the work of God. Sio, sio kazi ya Mungu. It's a your work. Ni kazi ya kwako. Revival must begin with sharing the gospel. Injili ya uamsho itaanza kwa wewe kushirikisha watu injili. How many wants to be revived in this time? Wangapi mnataka kuwa uamsho kwenye kipindi hiki? Revival is not speaking in tongues only. Uamsho sio tu kunena kwa lugha. Revival is not driving a big car. Uamsho sio tu kuendesha gari. Revival is not putting on a nice suit. Uamsho sio kuvaa suti nzuri. Revival is the desire to do the will of God in your life. Uamsho ni shauku ya kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu kutoka mweni mwako katika maisha yako. If your sleep is not disturbed by the dream of serving the Lord. Kama usingizi wako hauangaishwi na wewe na mawazo ya wewe kumtumikia Mungu. If your sleep is not disturbed by the sinners in Kahama. Kama usingizi wako hauangaishwi na kuwazia wa, wa watenda dhambi wa Kahama. If your dream is not disturbed by the kids who are getting in the drugs in Kahama. Kama moyo wako na usingizi wako hausumbuliwi na watoto wanaoingia it's time for you to pray to God that he will give you revival. This is the time. To bring revival. The church to be serious. Kanisa kuwa na maanisha. The voice of the church to raise. Kanisa kuinuka, kanisa sauti ya kanisa kuinuka. Enough is enough. In inatosha na inatosha. We have played in the church. Tumeshaomba kanisani. We have played like tunachezea kanisani. Tuna, ah, tunachezea kanisani. But the time of kuchezea kanisani inaisha. Mle wa kucheza tunakusifu kanisani umeisha. Hallelujah makofi kwa Yesu Kristo aliye hai. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu Kristo. God is looking for somebody. Mungu anaangalia mtu fulani to use him. Kumtumia. 